Hey, what's up guys, War Koopa here, and in today's video, I'll be comparing some of my reports for Guan and Skippy versus Sargon and Tarek for the open field. These fights were taking place at the Altar of Darkness, and at the beginning, I showed my kill points, which I started off at 675 million kill points. So this was the first half of the fighting. Both camps were trying to cut each other's reinforcements off, and these were the locations on how we were trying to cut each other off. I will be skipping through parts of the fighting as we progress because a lot of this is just walking around or small reports that would just make this video way too long, so let's get right into it. Keep in mind that I will say that Guan and Skippy is just way better for the open field because of all that AoE, and definitely you will see the amount of damage they inflict in AoE alone. As you can tell for this specific fight, we do have the advantage in numbers, so these reports will be more favorable for me. So looking at these reports, you can see that there was a lot of AoE damage being done by my Guan and Skippy, and on half of these, you can tell that they didn't even get touched, which is perfect. We have 1100, 400, 2400, 1500, 600, and 900. Then later on in the fights, as my army was taking damage throughout time, I decided to let my Guan and Skippy get sad face so that I could test out Sargon and Tarek, and so that I could see some reports to show you guys as well. I did this on purpose, okay? I didn't get destroyed because I wasn't paying attention. It does happen later on though, and I will show you guys why that happened. And as you can tell, even when my march is getting pretty low, almost all of my reports are still trading positive by a lot, except for these few that I'm about to show in a bit where you see that I got swarmed. I didn't mean for my Guan to chase someone that far, but that's okay. I wanted him to die anyways. And even with such a small march and still getting swarmed, Guan Skippy outputs enough damage that you don't feel bad for them at all. It's such a great march overall, and I can't complain. I don't think anyone can. It really is the best infantry march, hands down. So that concludes my first round with Guan and Skippy, and they got me 4 million points, which I don't know if that's good or not for the altar. Now I was eager to get Tarek and Sargon on the field, and since the enemy was trying to stop our reinforcements, I did start it off with an unfavorable fight at the beginning. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. And then I saw that king skill drop, and then I thought to myself, nah, I'm gonna go fight somewhere else instead. So then I scoped out the areas that we were fighting to see where I could get better trades in the hopes to match up to Guan and Skippy, and I ended up going back to the same choke point as before. Getting into these reports, you will notice the lack of AoE, but you do see that they tend to shred through cavalry, even if they have a Nevsky, which in my opinion, that happens because of the raw damage that gets put out, being Tarek's 10% damage to cavalry, 15% damage to everyone, and then Sargon's 10% damage for infantry. With all that being said, I think that's why cavalry doesn't really stand a chance against them in the open field, which was perfect for me. It's a nice change of pace to finally see the Nevskis getting humbled. I get that some of the reports I show, the enemy marches were already low, but in general, they still shred through cavalry. I will give a fair warning that with running this march, you might be disappointed that you are defenseless against AoE and there's nothing you can do about it, so maybe pair them up with someone who does inflict AoE damage. Okay, so as promised, you guys are about to see me get wrecked, but it wasn't my fault and you will see why. Okay, so looking at this video, you will notice that I moved my Sargon back right around here. And then he decides to ignore me and he decides to go up right here and attack someone else and then so everyone saw me out of place i got swarmed and i was like <clears throat> and so i tried running away but i have infantry so they were actually just walking away while everyone was beating on them i had no friends no bitches just a bunch of cavalry marches having their way with me and i came to terms with that so i decided just to fight back because i had no other choice at this point i know i said it wasn't my fault but you know what it really was my fault I wasn't paying attention to the field the entire time. What I should have done was zoom out a little bit more every once in a while to see if I had friends around still. If I had just done that occasionally here and there, I would have known to move back way before I even got into this situation. And every severely wounded is a T5 on my end. I can already hear the comment section telling me why I should use T4 and not T5. Keep telling me in the comment section for the algorithm, I dare you. And so now we run it back with Guan and Skippy, which I was excited for. I do apologize again for not having more reports for Sargon and Tarek, but I messed that part up. For the next altar, I'll run it back with Guan and Sargon, and maybe Tarek and Skippy for you guys. Ah, uh, okay, looking back at the footage, I'm kinda happy that my Sargon and Tarek got wrecked. Well, maybe, because that hurt a lot. But my Guan and Skippy are back, and wow, 
What a massive change in reports. Now we can enjoy some sweet, sweet AoE damage to everyone. Even the big marches suffer at the hands of these two. This AoE is rated E for everyone. Go ahead and enjoy some of these reports as I did, and at this point in the fighting, it kind of seems that we've already won the altar. We just have to hold them back, which seems imminent at this point. And since I assume we won at this time, I was already targeting players that went too far so that I can have easy picks so that my march wouldn't die as fast anymore, and I just let the AoE do all the work. On these reports, I gave them 1,500 severely wounded, 6,000, 2,300, almost 10,000. And then here I got hit with some AoE, but I can't do anything about that. It's inevitable. Okay, so here are a few more reports that I will show to you guys. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say because this video is just so long. I'm not used to this, but the point is that you guys see it. The proof is in the pudding. Focus on your Guan and Skippy way before you consider investing in Sargon and Tarek. So at this point, my army was super low and I figured I would bring a full march just in case something happened. So I sent Guan and Skippy past enemy lines so the enemies can think. Ooh, kill him! And that they did. So I was able to bring out Sargon and Tarek one last time, but we already won the altar. And the rest of the fighting was just me fighting on the edge trying to keep the enemies out. So I won't show the rest of it, but it was just a bunch of small reports and a lot of walking. Okay, and as you know, we won the altar, and this is how many people we have. A good amount of people, more come in later. And now let's see what the other altar has, and... <clears throat> okay, that, so that's a lot of people, so we do have our work cut out for us, but that just means more content is coming out as this KVK progresses. This video did take me a while to make, so I would appreciate it if y'all would like and subscribe. Thanks guys, later.